Well, welcome back to my studio. Today I am working on a, one of our limited originals. And what these are are high quality digital reproductions on canvas. And then I come back and paint on each one. I hand embellish them with oils. I use alkyd oils, which are a quicker drying oil paint than regular oils. They don't dry, dry quite as fast as acrylics, but they do dry faster than the regular oil paints. They still have that nice richness. You can mix colors, and I just prefer using them to acrylic. What I've done is on this piece, I've already done some work. This is a painting called the Rock House Homestead. I did this last year, and my collectors uh, actually the home had been in their family for many many years since the 1800s and they renovated it and what we did was this little barn back here is actually on a different part of the property but they asked me to move the barn into the painting and then the tractor Amanda's grandfather loved riding that tractor so I've put the tractor back in there I've already done a little work on the roof back here I added blues into the planes of the roof just to cool it to make it go back into the distance. I highlighted the tassels on the corn back there. I also highlighted the front of the tractor, that John Deere tractor where it catches the sunlight. And then I've gone back in and worked a little bit on these wildflowers and also highlighted then the tassels on the corn here. Now I'm going to work on the actual building itself. And first of all, I'm going to do a little, just add some more blue and stuff into the back part of the roof. This is a mixture of ultramarine blue plus white. And this just, this is a metal roof and I just want to cool this back portion just a little bit so that that part goes back. I'll make the front part warmer. But this is again, this is just to enhance what is there. We call them limited originals. Jack, that's a term Jack came up with. And what it is, is it is part of an addition. And then I come back in and hand embellish them. So the end pieces are different from each other. No two of them are exactly alike. Therefore, each one is an original within that addition. And that's, that's how Jack came up with that term, limited original. Now this is a mixture of mud, which is alizarin crimson, plus ultramarine blue, plus a little bit of orange, plus a little bit of more ultramarine blue, plus white. And this gives me a little warmer gray. And that just helps to make that the front part of the building come forward. I'm going to add some more blues in here. Kind of intermingle these colors in, in the center part of the building. We want that roof here in the front to really come forward. I want to give this painting a little more depth. And this will be a little lighter here. And I do the same thing on this. Now, this plane of the roof, this plane here, will be lighter because it's flatter. This plane of the roof is more upright. So it doesn't catch as much sun. This plane catches more light from the sky. Even though they're on the shadow side of the house, that still holds true. So I'm going to make this a little bit lighter than that other part. And also back here. This is adding some blues into that. But again, that part is a little bit lighter than the plane of that roof. It's a little bright right there. Now the sun does catch this part of the roof. I'm, I'm making that lighter. Kind of peeks over the top of that, the ridge of the roof. And that portion of the roof is, is lighter. So we're going to highlight that. And that's just, again, that same color that I mixed or the roof with white added into it. Now on the very front edge of that, I come back, I use my mall stick. My mall stick hooks over 
the top of the canvas, or top of the easel, excuse me. And then I can just brace my wrist on it and pull these lines. And now this is pure white. I just want to highlight that part of the roof where the sun hits it. Actually, I brought that sun up too far. So I can come back and just bring my dark back down. Because this, this light on the top of the roof needs to correspond where it's hitting right there. Okay, we've done that. Now on this front edge of the top roof, I'm going to highlight this because the light's hitting that edge too. I can pull my line straight. Let me pull it from down below. This will work better. Okay, this is pure white. Come back and do just a little bit more. I'm make this pretty thick so it has some texture there. Okay, we got that one. Now I'm going to work on this side of the house. These are mixes of my mud plus a little bit of cadmium yellow medium plus white. That's a little bit dark. This old feel, these old stones, old limestone. You see this everywhere in Texas, and Texans just love these buildings, these old stone buildings. And they they last for a long time. Goodness gracious! If you drive around the hill country, you just see these old places, and the ones that have been restored are just gorgeous. And it's so wonderful that people are restoring them because you just hate to see these bits of history disappear. It would be so cool, really cool, if these buildings could talk. Can you imagine the stories they'd tell? But I'm highlighting again the front edge, the edge closest to us I'm making warmer, and then the back part as, it, as the building goes away from us, I'm making cooler with more blue in my mixes. just had an awful thought. I hope I focused my camera before I started doing this. I'm going to refocus it just to make certain that I'm focused. Sometimes I just get so excited about getting to painting that I totally forget to do my videographer work. I'm, I'm not a real camera person, so I, I forget those things. Bear with me if it wasn't in in focus. It should be now. Now I come back and add some highlights on the top edge of some of those stones. Not every one. I don't want it to just be totally cookie cutter outlined, but some of those stones just catch the light. Again, this is giving the impression of stones. I don't want each and every one outlined. This isn't meant to be photorealistic. Yeah. Jack would just absolutely make this building look like a photograph. He could paint, oh my, I just, there's no way I could paint like he could. But we each had our distinct style and when he taught me to paint he said, Mickey, I don't want to put my hand on your paintbrush. I want you to have your own style, your own voice. He said, I'll teach you the basics and, and the principles of painting, but it's up to you to develop your style that you really like. 
and it's funny as a medical illustrator is my was my training and many people say oh well your paintings must be super super detailed then and it's almost like once I when I started painting the detail went out the window I think I had so many years putting all that detail into medical drawings that when I got to painting I wanted the biggest brush I could use and didn't didn't pay attention to the little itty bitty minute details. I, I really liked painting impressionistically. So we're giving this building a little more dimension, just coming back in, adding some nice variations. And you can see why none of these are exactly the same within the edition. And that's that's where that term comes from, limited originals. A little more blue into my shadow back here. With that E. And then I'll come back here and add some blues into this back part of the porch, the wall back here. I'm not going to do as much on this side because it's in shadow. I want to get my bigger brush out. Just give this some texture and those. I love the old limestone because the rocks are, there's so much variation in the rocks. Now this gets darker in here. So I'm going to add a little bit more mud into that mixture. It's really dark under that porch. Okay, I'm going to add some blues back underneath here too. Now this, the steps project out, so they're going to be a little bit warmer. This highlights a little warmer, and then I'm going to accentuate that top edge. Get my mall stick here. This works so much better to be able to brace my hand. I'm going to the planes of the steps. The top edge is lighter because, like the roof, the flatter the surface, the more light it receives from up above. So the top edge of the steps is lighter. And this step is catching a little bit of sunlight, so I'm going to use a little white just to accentuate that one, and so is that one. So that light comes around the corner. So the old homestead is embellished, the rock work and all. I'll come back and do some work on the railings. But I thank you for following along today and for watching my YouTube vi my YouTube video. Excuse me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll receive a email every time that you uh, every time that I post a new video. Also, visit my blog. I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this piece as well as others I do. The blog address is on the final frame of my video as well as in the description below. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please feel free to ask questions and happy painting.